quack quack everyone and welcome back to Helsinki. It's really nice Sunday here. Sun is shining and people are out enjoying the day. And so are the mallards. Quite a lot of them here in Tokoin Ranta. And this is a local park area near Kallio district and this is the starting point of today's walk. Welcome, welcome. So this is one of the feeding places where they feed the birds during the winter. So that's why you can see so many birds here. Birds know that they get food from here, so they spent their spent the winter here on this spot. And there's also a little bit of stream going on here, so which means that the uh, it doesn't get covered by ice. But I think right now they are uh, stopping the feeding because it is spring and the birds can uh, get their own food already. So a lot of splashing and quacking going on. <laughs> quack, quack, says ducks in Finnish. <laughs> and some of them are just enjoying sunshine and watching other birds play in the water. Hello everyone tuning in, Tamara. Hello, I'm doing well. How are you today? And Chorus is also saying Hyvää sunnuntaita, have a nice Sunday. Yes, indeed, it is very nice Sunday. And it is really, really that spring vibe already in the air. So everyone, let's start walking. That's what we do in my channel. Really, really beautiful mallards and some of them are sleeping, even though it's uh, 1.30 or something like that in the afternoon right now. So maybe they were partying last night and now they just want to sleep. So still a little bit of snow and ice, but everything is melting so fast right now. And days are getting really uh, fast, longer, which is always nice. And this park is called Tokoin Ranta. And we are now just like between Kallio and Siltasaari district. And today we are going to head in Kallio and a little bit of exploring streets of Kallio. And on the other side of the bay you can see Siltasaari district and that was the starting point of our uh, life walk maybe a month ago uh, when we 
headed to the Senate Square and we saw the uh, stand with Ukraine demonstration there. So that's Siltasaari and in the middle there is a Paasitorni building which is a hotel and conference center and right now they are renovating the tower and it is covered in plastic and some people are still walking on ice uh, I don't know about that mm. uh, I'm usually super careful when it comes walking and ice skating because you never know the currencies and how the water is and how thick the ice is so always have to be careful especially you know, uh, this time of the year when ice is melting and you can't, can't really really tell how thick the ice is so uh, I wouldn't go on ice right now or anymore and temperature is fluctuating a little bit because in shadows it is around zero degrees celsius and right now when we are enjoying the sunshine it's up to five degrees celsius so the, so the sunshine makes the difference this time of the year and it feels very warm and you can see that people are are not wearing that much clothes anymore and basically uh, we get rid of <laughs> our winter clothes and start to use uh, sunglasses <laughs> so that's the nice part of spring On the other hand, it is quite hard to get the right clothes because in the morning it might be minus 10 degrees Celsius still, and but in the afternoon it is much warmer, plus five or six. So the variation of temperatures can be something like 20 degrees. So you need different type of clothes depending on what time of the day you are walking outdoors sure if they are building it right now but they are or has it been there because that's the sledge I don't know what it what it is called in English but in Finnish it's called napakelka so basically basically it's a sledge that go around that circle and someone is pushing uh, the sledge and then other people can sit and have fun so maybe they are building it right now because the snow is gone and you have only ice right now and also very good weather for Nordic skating and people are uh, skating a lot on lakes and also on sea ice
Marina, welcome. Nice to have you here. We are enjoying sunny Helsinki today. So there it is. What we have been waiting for whole winter. And it feels like Finns are now <laughs> coming out of their hibernation <laughs> because there is a lot of people walking and enjoying the day just like we right now just like us so there's famous Ympyrätalo the circle building and it forms a complete circle as you might guess <laughs> And right there, that's Meri Pavilionki restaurant, and it's floating on top of the water. So it is kind of like fine dining restaurant, but maybe a little bit uh, less that's than fi fine dining. So a little bit more affordable. So if we put it that way, And still a lot of ice on parks, so still have to be careful when walking outside the sidewalks or streets. And here's another in important building for me, <laughs> because that's where my uh, dentist is located. So once a year I have to visit <laughs> this building. So, but my dentist is very nice person, so it is not that bad <laughs> as it could be. And it feels good to have a live live stream uh, when it's still uh, daylight <laughs> outdoors because the whole winter we have had only evening live streams and when it's dark but now we are finally getting there and seeing some light and blue sky so that was Hakaniemi marketplace and I think now we start head, heading to heading to Kallio and once again this is one of those live streams without any uh, strict plans so we never know 
where we end up. It's been a while since I have been in Kallio, so it's interesting to see if we have any new buildings or shops or cafes we can find today. These two buildings are quite new and you can see they still see a little bit of scaffolding on the right side but they demolished the buildings that used to be here and now the new buildings are ready. So and it is also the entrance to the metro station, subway station of Hakaniemi. And you can see that there is actually uh, two entrances. A is on the left side and B is on the right side. And if I remember right, there should be a new hotel in one of those buildings. I don't remember which one it will be, but new hotel coming to this to this area I think it's coming later this summer because at the moment I don't see any signs and I can't remember what will be the name of the hotel but anyway quite nice location here in Helsinki because uh, it's just five minutes with metro to the city center from here. And more people tuning in. Welcome, Marie. Happy Sunday to you also. A little bit of different time for live stream. Usually I like evening live streams, but I decided that uh, today we live stream a little bit earlier because the weather is so nice and we can enjoy the daylight. So let's see what it says here. So basically they are renovating this street and it should be ready later this year. And this is really, really nice street because there is Kallio church facing us and facing this street. And if you take a look to the other way, then you can see that the Unionin Katu Street continues there. So this is like a straight line from Kallio to uh, city center and Kruunu, Kruununhaka area. So uh, one of the longest uh, streets in a way in Helsinki. If you uh, consider it like a straight line that type of street. Yeah. 
Ooh, sharp corner. <laughs> I like that. I wonder what kind of rooms they have right in the corner because <laughs> it's just uh, one or two meters wide. So must be quite small space inside. And same thing on this side too. <laughs> yes, Goris. Uh, yes, that is true. Summer is the best day of the year in Finland. <laughs> and you never know which day it will be. <laughs> it might be, the, might, the best day might be uh, in May or it might be in September. <laughs> so you have to be like... Uh, <laughs> have to be careful and be alert alert <laughs> high alert let's put it that way but i'm hoping that this is not the best day of <laughs> of this summer and maybe there will be a little bit uh, warmer and nicer summer days coming later this year <laughs> but you never know <laughs> well, they have a new restaurant here urban gourmet so I have no idea what type of food they are serving and I don't know what is urban food <laughs> and a lot of nice restaurants in this area on the other side of the street there is Oiva and Oiva is famous for uh, traditional Finnish dishes so fish and uh, meatballs and Karelian stew and stuff like that so if you are visiting Helsinki and you want that traditional uh, uh, restaurant experience then Oiva is the place to go they also serve lunch Nice Suzuki with yellow color or uh, lime color, very spring-like color choice. And we are in Kallio, so a lot of second-hand shops also. notebook and pikkumy also and of course mumin mugs
that little le- red building coming up is Kallio Library. Uh, I think people are going in and coming out, so it might be open. I wonder if we could take a sneak peek and see the inside of Kallio Library. It is a really beautiful building. And architecture wise, it's like a m- little bit of mix of late uh, late Jugend or Art Nouveau and it has some features also from classicism so it's not like pure Jugend Moi moi Markus, welcome, welcome. We are having a walk in Kallio district today. And let's see if we can uh, go inside the Kallio library. still have DVDs.
yes, that was Kallio library. So, and if I remember right, this is from 1912. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the architect, but you can probably Google it quite easily. So yes, really beautiful building. And a lot of books and uh, it is quite a small building, but there is a lot of uh, stuff to see inside. dropped my sunglasses. Fortunately they are quite old so I don't mind if they get any scratches because they are already some and I think I should buy a new pair of sunglasses this, this spring. And actually yesterday I was having a really uh, busy day because first I went to see the uh, my optimist optometrist metric uh, what is the word basically <laughs> uh, eyeglass shop <laughs> uh, goggles shop anyway and it was really busy there because I went to check my contact lenses there and 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 I was surprised that the small store had so many customers and I had to wait a little bit before my it was my turn but then the service was of course excellent and it is a small uh, privately owned uh, shop in Töölö so it made me happy that the owner had a really busy busy day Optician, yes, thank you Mayan guy and welcome. <laughs> uh, once again struggling with the words, but as always you know what I mean. So yes, buying new contact lenses and maybe new glasses and also new sunglasses this spring. <laughs> Maybe we go around this way. Uh, there's Kallia Church coming up and right here is the fire station. And this is the main fire station in Helsinki and also the biggest one. And one Ukrainian flag flying there. And some time ago they had a little, little problem because someone was stealing the Ukrainian flags from the city of Helsinki and then they had to uh, put the ropes all the way up to the mast. Maybe you can see it, that the ropes are really high so no one can steal the flag. I don't know what was, what was the reason why someone was stealing the Ukrainian flags. Did they need need it themselves or was it some sort of like uh, act against Ukraine? I don't know but it was a problem <laughs> for the fire department and city of Helsinki. Roswitha welcome greetings from Germany. Hello to Germany. Nice to have you here. 
sunny, really sunny walk today in Helsinki. And I have to, it's like a, it takes a moment because it is so, you are so used to darkness and uh, cold days and now it's all of a sudden it's sunny and nice. <laughs> Yes, the fire department is a really, really ugly building. Probably something maybe late 60s or early 70s. But I, I agree, it could have been a little bit uh, nicer because it is surrounded by these Art Nouveau buildings and churches, so it doesn't really fit in but that's what it is with that period of time and buildings from that era yes Markus Finns have been hibernating <laughs> this winter and now everyone is waking up just like the bears in in the two oh. I oh yes the main entrance is on the other side of the church but I don't think it's open right now like I said this is a unplanned walk <laughs> so I didn't uh, check that if it's open oh it says here that it should be open and surprisingly long opening hours between 7 and 9 during the weekend weekday day, weekdays and 9 to 7 on Saturday, Saturdays and Sundays. So let's see. And oh yes, good news about this church. They are planning to open the tower for visitors. So maybe this summer you will be able to climb the tower and take a look at the views and and it it will be it's it, it will be it won't be free of charge but the uh, fee is quite small so hopefully I'm able to go there this summer and see the tower inside yes and there was uh, like uh, newspaper articles already and at least those journalists were able to visit the tower when the Paris was uh, like uh, saying that the tower will be open later so it was like a, a marketing <laughs> strategy that they that they opened the tower for the journalists oh, let's walk away there's car coming the main entrance should be this way
Yes. Yes, I think this is Art Nouveau also, but please let me, let us know in the chat if you know better, because I'm not exactly sure. Good luck that it was open today. Always happy to show the churches of Helsinki to you. And always have to be a little bit of a uh, little bit careful because there is there might be some events going on, but maybe not today. Okay, Marcos has to go. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> See you soon. So, really nice church. we go and keep walking and now I remember why the tower hasn't been open uh, because there is a uh, restrictions how many people you can let in because there has to be escape routes in case of fire and stuff like that so that's what uh, mostly or one of the main reasons why that type of uh, towers and other old buildings are not open for the public but i think they are now uh, fixing it some way or uh, planning it in a way that it is safe to visit 
for everyone. This is the other side of the fire department and it says there it's plus 5 degrees Celsius right now. When sun comes out the temperature rises very fast. streets have been so slippery this year that the city of Helsinki has used a, a, like a record amount of gravel uh, this year and some of the city officials stated that they have used twice as much as in normal winter so there is a lot of cleaning up coming uh, this month and next month because when we have gravel a lot of gravel on the streets it is really dusty when uh, snow melts away and it gets dry uh, yes Mayan guy I think they are having that type of system also in the church tower that they sell sell the tickets like beforehand and then they know how many people are coming and then they take then they can take a small group of people to the tower had a dog fight <laughs> and luckily there were some people between the dogs <laughs>
it's nice to use the wide angle lens once again because then you get to see a little bit more the wide angle camera camera doesn't perform that well in low light conditions but now when it's daylight and bright weather the wide angle is the best one This is one of the blocks I don't visit that often because it's like kinda in the middle of all all my routes so so that's why I don't come here so often. Antique shops, a lot of dog statues and animal statues. Vaasankatu, uh, historically one of the infamous <laughs> streets of Helsinki. So many bars and bobs are located here, and sometimes people can be a little bit rowdy here. <laughs> but I think Sunday afternoon is quite calm and uh, safe time to visit this street and one of the things I love is that the sky is really blue right now and I think the iPhone camera like emphasizes that a little bit more so it is not that blue in real life but it is really beautiful so that's why I don't complain It's a cool
Hmm. Yes, a candle shop. <laughs> yes, of course they are candles. <laughs> no nice then <laughs> The guy was saying they are lady products. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> More people wearing shorts. <laughs> so Finns really think that it is summer now. <laughs> nice little balconies. And right there in the distance you can see Osuuspankki, uh, main headquarters, I would say. And behind that there is the Wooden Vallila district with wooden, old wooden buildings. I think it was one of the New Year's Eve live streams when we started from uh, wooden Vallila and then we walked all the way to city center So this is funny there is the parking spot and the car is parked here <laughs> on the pavement or sidewalk. That is one of my pet peeves that people are so lazy that they don't want to park their cars two meters <laughs> from the where, where, where is the, where is the uh, official parking spot. The square is still under construction. It feels like it has been a year or two since they uh, since they started this renovation.
uh, there is a park on top of that hill but it seems that the stairs are still uh, under ice and snow so I don't think we can go there this time Let's go this way because I think we have never been here before in my live streams. And oh yes, there is a beautiful Coca-Cola mural. Uh, that, that must be quite new because I don't remember it. when it comes to driving and parking here in Helsinki I think the problem is mostly the uh, food delivery people they don't really respect traffic rules and parking rules and usually if you see someone parking uh, on a pavement or somehow illegally it's probably Walt or food or a guy. And the thing is that those companies like Volt, they don't care at all. It doesn't matter if you complain about the parking or someone driving dangerously. They just say that. They are independent uh, entrepreneurs, so and they can't do anything about it. We have a dangerous hill right here. There is even a sign that says that the hill is dangerous. So let's see what happens when we go down the dangerous hill. It's actually one-way street and there is a little bit of rock and park here. So there you go. The dangerous hill. <laughs> uh, the park area seems to be quite icy. So I think it is wiser to go that way. And see the area of Sörnäinen. Oh yes, it is quite kinda steep hill. So no wonder that they put the warning sign. Must be pain in the ass when it's <laughs> icy and snowy. Probably can't drive 
uh, via that route during winter. It's getting a little bit cloudy right now. So it was a good decision to start the live stream a little bit earlier than usual. We got a little bit of sunshine today. Maybe we try to go back as soon as possible because this street is not that cozy. <laughs> this is one of the main main streets that bring cars and trucks to city center. And there is quite a lot of traffic. And it's uh, noisy and dusty right now. Oh no, Mayan guy is starving right now. <laughs> Please go, go and have a lunch. <laughs> there is always an option for uh, watching this live later. Because the good thing is that YouTube stores these live streams so you don't have to watch it all live. Right, let's go back. Yeah, it should be a little bit less noisy here. stairs there's a little bit of gravel still left but at least they are making an effort to clean the gravel gravel away which is good
uh, that's true it's not the same <laughs> if you watch live streams later because live streams are of course about the connection we have right now that I can read your messages and you can participate and that's the best part of live streams yeah I think there are some areas where graffiti is like uh, <laughs> more popular <laughs> or there is more graffiti on on the walls but I haven't really noticed that there is more than what we used to have it, because in Helsinki I think at least city of Helsinki is quite fast cleaning them up and painting painting the walls again but of course private properties uh, are a little bit different and with those there might be a little bit more graffiti on the walls Vuokraturva mural one of the murals that are also like adverti advertisements There are many restaurants in Kallio district, so that's why you see so many Volt drivers and Fudora drivers here. are cool, cool I think we should have more murals in Helsinki because there are so many good places to have them and I don't mind if they are like advertising something uh, it uh, as far as they are nice to nice to see and uh, well made uh, so then I think it is okay even if the mural is uh, an advertisement so I don't mind that So this is Hämeentie and nowadays this is mostly for buses and trains.
trams and cycles so that's why you don't see that many cars in Hämeentie anymore think that this area feels a little bit like Stockholm I don't know uh, is it the colors of these buildings or the size or the shapes of the buildings but <laughs> it feels like Stockholm because here the apartment buildings are a bit taller uh, than in the city central so that might be one reason why this area feels like a bigger city. <laughs> you guys are eating bananas there. <laughs> uh, luckily I had lunch before I started this live stream, so I'm feeling well. And I have a lot of strength now to walk for you guys. we see the church tower again I really like these open lines that the streets are facing the buildings and it, it is like a straight line to the different directions of the of the church tower There we have Torkelinmäki area. It has those a little bit smaller streets and uh, smaller buildings. But I think we have to visit that area some other time.
I can't wait for summer because then we can have late evening <laughs> strolls and still have daylight left so that's the w that will be the best of both worlds late evening live streams and still still some light left Now we are back to the Gallio library. So that was really nice. A really nice, like a little event. Hello. Living the best life, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about that? We are like, live streaming right now. <laughs> we are, we are. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There are people Ima walking. Ima imagine. <laughs> Imagine this is the bear park. Yes, this, this is, is the bear park and Kallio area. Yeah, yeah, but show the fucking bear yeah. park. Bear park is over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the library building. Yeah. We visited where, that earlier today. That's, that's where you get the French yes. fucking <laughs> literature. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Alright. Sorry about that. Someone was a little bit drunk. <laughs> he was drunk but happy. So nothing too serious. Yeah, midsummer walks and I've been planning a really long walk. Uh, we could start around 8 p.m. maybe and starting point would be in Munkiniemi where we were last time and then we could walk all the way to Lauttasaari and from Lauttasaari to Helsinki city center so that would be something like 10 kilometers of walking and maybe three or maybe even four hours of live stream so that's one of the live streams I have been planning for the next summer. Let's see if we can make it. And usually we get a little bit more viewers also if if i'm live streaming in the evening or a little bit later but it's never never only about the viewer count or how many viewers we got but it's the feeling and uh, having this community with me walking and yes the night driving is also quite fun and one of the ideas I have been uh, like pondering is that if I could combine live streaming and driving meaning that I could uh, uh, put my camera or phone in car and then we could have a little drive around Helsinki and maybe we could listen some music during that live stream it's like a party bus <laughs> type of live stream <laughs> because uh, driving is nice because then you can cover a bigger area and show more places and I think there is a lot of people who like to see uh, those driving type of videos
so many plans for my channel this year and I really hope that I am and I am able to give those experience to you because I really like these live streams and I think I'm getting a little bit better and better each time so it's nice to see that things are getting better and you are getting a little bit better on what you are doing it's a rewarding feeling but one of the uh, not so good things about uh, driving and live streaming is that I can't really read your comments while I'm driving so the chat uh, uh, should you should <laughs> speak to or write messages to each other but I, I cannot really comment your chat messages when I'm driving or one option is that uh, at time to time I will stop and read the messages and uh, respond to you but there will be a li little bit less interaction going on if, if I'm driving and live streaming at the same time because after all it is harder to read the messages and it is not safe of course but I think there, there will be a way, <laughs> a way of implementing that idea and I have already plans how I could do it yeah I think it, it is something like that that, that I have to mount, mount my uh, phone to the windshield or somewhere near or on the dashboard or something like that and I probably have to buy a mount for the phone but it, it shouldn't be that expensive or hard to do you never know what happens and what type of live stream there will be next <laughs> so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications when I'm live next time and one of the things is that I try to be a little bit more active this year meaning that maybe uh, twice or three times a month I will be live streaming so a little bit of more content coming towards you And as always, I might be doing uh, small trips also to other, other cities in Finland and in Nordic countries maybe. So that's always nice for me that there is a new, new cities where I haven't been or haven't live streamed. So that's always a nice thing, nice thing to do and change the perspective and change the city once a while all right we are back <laughs> from where we started between Ympyrätalo and Tokoiranta 
park area. So, people having snacks and drinks and watching the watching the eyes and watching what these guys are doing or maybe they are building one of those ice carousels uh, if you know what I'm talking about it is like a they cut the ice and then they put the motor uh, to the ice and then the like the ice will spin spin there but I don't know if, if it's what they are do, doing right now at least they are cutting the ice go and see the ducks for one last time <laughs> there is someone lying down on the ice and watching his phone. <laughs> must be a really really comfortable place to lie down <laughs> Don't worry, Maria, if you missed the start, because now you get the exact, exactly same experience. <laughs> we are going to see some mallards and ducks that are spending time over there. It is one of the feeding points where they feed the birds during winter, and that's why there are so many, so many birds. So I have to say, this was really nice walk. I enjoy it a lot because we saw the Gallio Library building and then we saw the Gallio Church and some other areas also where I don't walk that often. So it was really like exploring for me, for me too. Mayan guy, I don't know what you are having for lunch. I hope it is not bird seeds <laughs> because we are going to see some bird seeds soon. I don't know what is your favorite food because it is after all Sunday. So on Sundays you should have your favorite foods and favorite dishes.
<laughs> oh no, duck. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy your duck. <laughs> I am enjoying ducks too, but in a in a different way. <laughs> There you go. There's the mallards. Oh, there is also two swans. I didn't know that we had already swans. Just use, I think many swans fly to south every winter, but then there are some who stay over the winter. So maybe these guys stayed here all winter. Well, hello. It is so shiny today and I'm not wearing my uh, sunglasses right now, but thank you everyone tuning in today and I hope you had a great walk. It was a really beautiful day here in Helsinki and I hope there will be more to come and of course summer is right around the corner and some dogs barking behind me. <laughs> But that's live and that's live streaming. So thank you everyone for supporting my channel and also sending me tips. That is really highly appreciated and I really uh, uh, ap appreciate your support. Uh, I hope to see you soon and this is Helsinki saying goodbye. So thank you everyone once again. We had a great walk tonight, today. So that's it. Goodbye and see you soon.